Thank you, Mr. President. Speak to the motion. Senator has the floor. I will. Um, I am actually speaking against the motion, and I, I want to clarify a couple of things. The first thing is, is that this is absolutely not health insurance. To send it back to be studied by an organization that sets regulations for health insurance would be absolutely the wrong thing to do. What is happening now, and if you have not heard from your constituents, I can assure you I've heard from my patients, is that most of our patients have high deductible plans, and this includes the patients that are covered under the exchange products. They have to pay dollar for dollar everything that is allowed by their insurance, so the fees that they're paying now to meet their deductible are what the insurance says they have to pay for a service. So they are paying these fees till they get to $6,000, and the result is people who are paying $600 premiums a month are not able to afford to go see the doctor when they have the flu and pay another $150 for that visit. This is an opportunity to protect contract law that is allowable in all other arenas of the marketplace where a patient and a physician can develop a contract and that doctor can amortize across the 12 months in a predictable way for somebody who doesn't have a lot of disposable income, a means of them securing primary care. The only things that your insurance with a high deductible will pay for will be preventative care services. Those will not be included in these agreements. But if you have the flu, if you have bronchitis that requires three different visits because you can't get rid of it, how many of us have had that? You are now covered in a way that you can afford to seek your health care that does not involve your insurance. So I am going to ask you please to support this bill. It's very important for your constituents so that they do have access to health care, even if they are insured. 